Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a vlog. I don't even like know how to open up vlogs anymore. I don't vlog enough and I'm like trying so hard to find the time to do it. It's like rainy and crappy out, I'm not feeling it today, I'm just really not feeling it today. But I'm gonna vlog anyway, there's stuff that I need to get in this vlog and I'm really just wanting to like catch up with you guys and stuff. Well, today is a school day for Knox, so I just got both kids dressed and they are ready to hop in the car and get off to school. So I just need to make my coffee and grab a quick bite to eat. Knox has been going to school for two days a week and he has been loving it. It has been so good for him, it's been so great for myself and Elle um, because we get a day together two days together throughout the week and eventually I'd like to get them both going for one day a week so that I have a full day to get some stuff done. So I'm just in like workout clothes because I plan on doing a little workout when I get back from dropping him off. I have to clean the house and do some work. So this is just kind of like not a super exciting day but a real day in the life uh, with us. And I decided to do it on a day that Knox is in school which I'm kind of sad about because I feel like you guys never get to see him anymore. Um, he's just so busy that when he's awake and we're doing things I just have to be so attentive to him. So I don't know. I do need to do another family vlog soon showing the kids more but I do want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I apologize if you can hear the kids in the background. They're right on the other side of the door um, playing with the, the vacuum. So, whatever. It's keeping them busy. I absolutely love Ana Luisa. I wear their jewelry every single day. And I am so happy to be collaborating with them again on today's video. I have two new pieces that I want to share with you guys. Hi, buddy. Hey, sissy. We need to let sissy in. Good job. What? You can fix it. You can fix it? I just don't want it running like that. The motor's going to burn up. I like your shoes that you chose for school. Those are awfully cute. Dude. So yeah, I love Ana Luisa. I wear their stuff every single day and I'm so happy to be working with them again. Their mission is to be sustainable while um, remaining affordable and I think they do a really, really good job <laughs> at that. Um, and they also have really unique and cute designs. So a lot of their stuff is like dainty gold jewelry, which is what... I like and wear but they do have some more statement pieces on their site as well so I kind of feel like they have something for everybody and with their pieces starting at $39 I just feel like there really is something for everybody that mine sucks. put yours on yeah. Yeah. ow my knees don't bend like that do you want some help, help. okay Oat. I think she just wants to play with them. Sometimes she doesn't want to wear them, you know? Look. Okay, so the first new piece that they sent me is this necklace. So I'm going to leave the name and the price on the screen. Um, so this is so unique. I've actually never seen a necklace like this. So it's like a little body yeah, mold. You know, Thank you, sweetheart. Come on, you. Hang on just one second. I'm going to finish filming this, okay? I'm really hoping you guys can see that. So... Yeah, it's like a little body mold. It's so cute and even has like a bum on the other side. I just think this is so fun and unique. And the chain that I have it matched up with, this is from my Temple Black set. Um, but they also offer like simple chains like this that you can purchase separately. The other piece that they sent me is this ring. I am obsessed with this so it's just like a simple gold band and it has this little rectangular stone in it which is just so pretty and I honestly can't even feel this on my finger it's so dainty and I just think this is so pretty I do have a coupon code for you guys so I'll leave it down here on the screen and I will leave it down below I believe it's Riley J 10 yeah it will save you 10% off so I highly recommend this stuff you guys know I wear it all the time and we gotta get going Got my roommate toddy. I use this thing all the time. I love it. I don't normally buy the Dunkin' Donut like cold brew coffee, but I had bought this um, when we went to camp so that I wouldn't have to worry about having my iced coffee because that's like all I can drink. After having L, I do not like warm coffee. So this is quite the treat. It's really good. And and then I use my Silk Almond Creamer. I pretty much like any of the flavors. This one's not my favorite. I love the creme brulee one. That one's probably my top fave, but put your gloves on. All right, all of this stuff we're gonna have to take off when we get to, when we get to school, okay? So who's gonna clean all this up? House is like literally trashed in two seconds. Trashed. 
Two seconds. I have to remind myself it only takes a few minutes to clean up most of the time. Like it's not a mess, it's just stuff needs to be put back. The crackers for me. I didn't put anything on my lips this morning when I threw my makeup on. Yeah. Let's just say I really don't have any pigment in my lips unless I put something on. So I just popped the Ofra Liquid Lip in Verona. Okay. Just did a tiny okay. bit. You excited for school? Yeah. What are some of your friends' names? Um, Kai Kai. Kai Kai? Yeah. We think that might be an imaginary friend. We're not sure because there's not actually a Kai Kai in this class. Yuck, peanut butter and Kai Yuck. Ooh, yum. Oh, the park, Mama. There's a park that we go to. Last night was a bit of a weird night. I actually forgot to dream feed Elle, which I'm kind of glad because I've been wondering if I could drop that dream feed anyway. I usually just kind of like gently pick her up out of her crib at 10 o'clock and nurse her before Kyle and I go to sleep. And um, I come, I just completely forgot, honestly. Kyle and I were like cuddling in bed and stuff, which we, we don't always get the chance to do. And we both knocked out. Um, she ended up waking up at like 12 o'clock screaming. And I'm like, oh, she must have like dropped her binky or something. Cause she's been sleeping through the night for months now. And then I realized I'm like, after like me going in for the second time, trying to like kind of soothe her and calm her down. I'm like, what is going on? Like, oh. I forgot to feed her. I'm gonna roll your window up, okay, honey? Because we're getting on the highway. Um, he woke up really, really upset and kind of all out of sorts at some point. I don't even know what time this was at. We don't know if he had like sweat through his clothing because he does that like fairly often, um, or if he had had a little bit of an accident because he's been out of a diaper for weeks now. Um, and we just like this past week transitioned him out of diapers at night, which was actually an accident because at camp we forgot to put a diaper on him before bed and he woke up dry. So we were like, well, sweet. I guess we just ripped the bandaid on that one. Um, I will talk a little bit about potty training. So when he was like, um, how old was he? A year and a half old. We got a little potty. I'll link one down below. I think you can get them off the Amazon. We found ours at, um, Target or Burlington? I know Target has the same exact one. It's like I said, at about a year and a half old. Um, now, so this has been like a year for us. Um, it was like a slow process, but we did that. We talked about it and uh, like originally he just wanted to like push it around the house or kind of like play on it. Then eventually we were kind of like, you know, the potty needs to stay in the bathroom and whatever. And anytime we would go to the bathroom, we'd hit, invite him to come with us and tell him, you know, you can go on your potty. A lot of times he would just like sit on the potty even with like his diaper and his clothes on, just kind of like pretending. This was just kind of like the very beginning and we never pushed anything. We de definitely didn't consider ourselves potty training by any means. We just wanted it there. We wanted him to become very familiar with the process and like the thought of it and everything from a very like early age. So, and then we had L and obviously it was just kind of like a crazy time for a while. And we definitely, again, weren't pushing it, but offering like if we're going to the bathroom, if he wanted to come to the bathroom and once in a while he would want to. So after he turned two, um, we started like talking about it more. And like when we would go to the bathroom, we'd really encourage him to use his potty. And now that the weather's gotten nicer, um, Sorry, I have the hardest time thinking when like a baby's crying. I have sensory overload when it comes to sound. I wanted to be more in depth with you guys, but I cannot, I can't think straight. Good idea, sweetheart. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So, um, yeah, after he turned two, we really started um, trying to get him to go on the potty more and just offering it, but we never wanted it to be a traumatizing thing. We never forced him. If he said he didn't want to, we let it go at that. And then it kind of turned into like he would ask to go to the bathroom. And then once it started getting nice out, we would allow him to go outside or do diaper free time. So the biggest thing that I think made 
um, like the biggest turning point in our potty training process was allowing him to have diaper free time. So that would be like in the mornings, I would let him go diaper free for two, three, four plus hours. Um, and then it would kind of like, it was kind of like he didn't have that comfort of having anything down there. He found that he had to go to the bathroom. It was like, kind of like, where do I go, you know? And that was when we would have the discussion, like you go on the potty, da da da. We had a lot of accidents and one day we actually had um, number two on the couch. So it is not like, it's definitely not an easy smooth process or it was not like for us necessarily, but it, it also wasn't crazy um, difficult because we just didn't make a big deal out of it. And that's just what worked for us. So yeah, then he started wanting to wear his underwear and he thought those were really cool. Um, and we had a ton of accidents. Like for a while, um, he would accidentally pee in his pants and in his underwear and we would just change and say, hey, next time you have to go, you can either go by yourself and go to the potty or you can ask for help and one of us will go with you. Um, and he really liked going by himself. Like he would run to the bathroom and then come out and say, mom, I peed. And even if it was a little messy or anything like that, like it was still obviously just worth the progress and the like he was just so proud of himself and felt really good about doing it himself so number two took a little bit longer but not it hasn't been bad at all um we would just recognize like the signs when it seemed like he was probably needing to go which would be like he'd go off in a room by himself or um go under the bd and stuff like that so yeah and now he's just potty trained it Almost, baby. Look at the school buses. <sighs> Look at that big school bus. Look at those. There's another one. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, up down. down. So on another note, um, I have so much updating to do with you guys, but um, a lot of it is like our personal life and stuff and some of it I can't share right now and I keep saying that and I like feel annoyed with myself that I keep saying that, but I just can't share it yet and um then there's like a big thing that we're doing right now that i also can't share yet because kyle's not ready <laughs> so yeah i have a lot of updating we say, yep we're going to the left yep drop you off at the high school yeah. good lord all right, Sissy and I just got back from dropping Knox off. So lately, when we drop Knox off at school, she likes to have a little snack by the window. <laughs> so she's just having some veggie sticks in. Mm. Yeah, you want to tell them? What are you having? Your veggie sticks? You watching the cars go by? Hi. <laughs> she loves to wave at the cars and watch the birds. Uh, yeah. Uh, and watch the doggies walk by. Uh, yeah. And you wave to them too. Hi, doggies. That just keeps her happy for a little bit. That gives me enough time to kind of pick up a little bit. So I'm going to clean up this his show here and then also on days that I drop him off I like to just get a little bit of housework done I'm gonna be honest like I haven't scrubbed and like got down and dirty and cleaned in a while um definitely not I'm definitely not doing it as often as I should or need to I just like honestly don't feel like I have the time I'm trying to balance everything out and I I just don't have time right now um so I just try to keep the house as clean and like clutter free as possible so I still like vacuum and clean the floors and stuff but I just rarely like scrub in corners or scrub the bathroom the bathroom is horrid and I've got to get caught up on laundry laundry is like wowsies I'm so behind and so let's do this
cleanup. I always remind myself, honestly, when there's just like toys and stuff everywhere, I remind myself how little time it actually takes to clean it up. Like that is a huge stressor for me when the house is like a mess and I just constantly have to remind myself and sometimes I'll even time myself. When I feel like the house is like a complete mess, I'll set a timer and like clean everything up, put everything away and I'll time myself and I'll go back to the timer and it's like six and a half minutes. I'm like, why did I even stress about that? Um, if you are like that and you get really stressed out by your like environment being uh, messy but like mostly cluttery and like having toys and stuff everywhere, obviously cleaning, like physically cleaning, takes more time than that. Um, but just picking up and like putting things back where they belong. Um, yeah, if you get stressed out by stuff like that, time yourself next time you clean up or pick up after your kids takes no time get down girl get down get down girl get down do 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 dum do 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 dum she's trying to kick that crumb what are you stepping on <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> what what do you have ooh more veggie sticks yum Dun 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 Sissy's walking. Um, she's walking like with incentive. She doesn't just like beep bop and walk around. She would prefer to crawl for that. But if she's like across the room and she sees something she wants, she will absolutely walk to it. <laughs> you stop too soon. <laughs> She's in like a goofy mood right now, so. Uh, she's not really doing it. Elle is down for a nap. Hopefully, I can still hear her kind of like talking to herself, so. We will see. It's hard on school days when we drop Knox off at school because I bring him in usually around like 8 o'clock or so, 7.30. Um, so by the time we're driving home, Sissy's like kind of falling into her nap. So she literally nine times out of 10 falls asleep on the way home. So then our nap is like all messed up because she wakes up when I take her out of the car and she's had a cat nap. And then, yeah, our day is just super off. So right now it's 10, 15. Normally she'd be getting up in 15 minutes because she goes down at nine every morning. But on school days, we just kind of play it by ear and she seemed tired. So I just nursed her and popped her in bed. But I'm gonna hop on my bike and I wanna share with you guys all the details. This was sent to me by FlexiSpot and I am so glad that I agreed to this collab. I didn't know, honestly, like if I'm gonna be 100% truthful, I didn't know if this was gonna be gimmicky or just like, I don't know, cheap. And it is not at all. Like it is not at all. My dad actually came over to help me set it up and I think he's gonna get one. My mom saw it and she's like, I need this for my office. Like this thing is amazing. I'm gonna show it to you. I got it in the white. They also offer it in the black and I'll put a link down below for you guys too, but highly, highly recommend. I honestly, at this point, have nothing bad to say about this bike and it's at an incredible price point, so. So here is my Flexi Spot bike. I love this thing so much. So let's just start uh, at the bottom. So it has wheels so that it's really easy to roll around and move around the house if you want. As you guys can see, this is taking up hardly any space at all. So the seat I want to mention before I forget is so comfortable, guys. Like if you have ever ridden a bike before and you have that wicked sore bum like the next day, even after riding for like 10 minutes, that I have not experienced with this bike at all. The cushion is like so comfy and I've been on this bike for over an hour um, at a time. So it does have different settings. So you can turn this dial here to turn up the resistance or you can turn it down, which is great because if you just wanna casually kind of pedal while you're working, you can do it on a lower setting or if you really actually wanna get a workout in, if you put it up on one of these high ones, you will be dripping in sweat within like 10, 15 minutes, at least I am. It has a timer so you know like how long you've been going. Um, and then it also tells you your speed as well, which is great. This is a cup holder, which is wonderful. It's got like a little grip on it. Um, so you could put like a little tumbler or a water bottle there. The seat is also adjustable. So there's a little lever under here where you can just um, adjust the seat height, which is super easy to do. And then the desk also has some levers. One moves the desk um, forward and back so you can bring it closer to you or push it further away if you wanna kind of like lean forward if you are like heavier biking and then there's also a lever over here and that one makes it go up and down so you can adjust the desk height to your comfort 
Um, speaking of comfort, this, I didn't realize how great this was going to be, but there's like a squishy pad here. So when you're working, you have your arms on that and you never get like sore or this never, I don't know, starts to get irritated whatsoever. So I love that they put that there because without that, I feel like my arms would really hurt. And this desk is a great size so I can fit my laptop, my uh, planner and a water all like right up on top. I've actually been eating lunch while answering emails while biking at the same time. I kind of felt like that was ironic like eating while working out but I'm like you know what why not I don't always have time to do all the things and with this bike I feel like I do I have just been loving this and it's been like a game changer for me I literally use it all the time so I'm gonna hop on it right now and get as much done as I possibly can All right, I am running late, <laughs> per usual. Um, I'm heading out the door to go get my spray tan, which I will leave all the details for down below, but I had a girl um, locally um, doing my spray tans instead of going to suntan like I normally do, and it is a game changer. It's more expensive, but like, it's literally, sorry. It's literally worth every single penny. Um, I'm like out of breath because I wanted her to get some good rest. Um, so I let her sleep until the very last minute and now I'm running around like a crazy person. Oh, awesome, my camera's dying. Great. Um, hey guys, so we just got back from running errands. Oh my God, my lips look so weird. Um, but I'm about to throw some nuggets in the air fryer for Knox because Kyle just said that he picked them up and they're on their way home. So he's usually starving when he gets home. Um, these Kyle picked up, they're just the Tyson chicken nuggets. Usually I try to get like a little bit healthier ones, but whatever. So throwing these in the air fryer. I have the Drew Barrymore um, air fryer in, I think it's called icing is the color. It's the white one with the gold. It's so beautiful. I highly recommend it. We literally use this thing multiple times a day. I'm obsessed. It's so easy, so easy to clean. It works so well. And yeah, I just absolutely love it. So I'm also going to cut up just a little bit of this potato. I'm gonna do it really, whoops, really thinly so that it makes like almost like chips, I guess. I've never really done this. I'm just making it up as I go. That one's definitely not gonna be a chip. Okay, they might be soggy chips, whatever. I'm just gonna lay these flat in like a single layer and hope they cook well. So all of this is touch screen, so I just do air fry. I'm going to do, I'm just gonna do like five minutes because I don't want those potatoes to cook, like overcook. I'm gonna leave it on, actually, I'll put the temp down a little bit. And press start, boom. Do you wanna have a snack? <laughs> yeah, full tank. Bonk, bonk. Oh, gotcha. You haven't even taken your shoes off. Yeah, I'm getting them. Okay, so before I ran errands, like I was saying, um, I've been getting spray tans done by a girl locally, so she like sprays me. There's not, it's not like a booth. Like she can really customize your tan. She contours, so she like contours my bum, my boobs, my abs, like everything. Um, which just like really enhances your look. It's not like she's painting abs or like butt cheeks on you. She really is just like enhancing your um, like natural look. So when she sprays me, it um, gives me like a bronzer so that she can see like what she's doing. So that's why I look like greasy and almost dirty. But once I shower, it's the most beautiful tan ever. It literally looks like I just got back from vacation. She just does an incredible job. I never have any weird marks on my hands. So yeah, she does a really amazing job. If you are local, I'll leave all of her information. I have some packages um, that she like customized and discounted for me um, so I could link it for you guys and whatnot. So if you are interested, I will put those down below. What? Ooh. 
All right, so I'm gonna take two chicken nuggets out for L and chop those up, and then I'm gonna cook Knox's a little bit more to make them a little more crispy. By the way, my dress is from Target, as you guys are wondering. They have it in a ton of different colors. It's like a go-to, just throw it on and go. I can't get over the bags under my eyes today. Like, multiple times when I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, what is happening? You want these? Sorry, I'm over here blabbing. I've been needing to track my ovulation because Kyle and I are trying real hard not to um, get pregnant right now. So I figured between pull and pray um, and tracking my ovulation, we should be pretty good to go. Plus I'm still nursing. So between those three things, but I use what with the, I use Ovia um, for my tracking app. So it tracks your ovulation so that you can either try to get pregnant or try to avoid. Um, ow, I just chipped my tooth. So you can put in like your mood and what you're feeling or if you've started your period, if you've been sexually active, um, any symptoms you're having. You can track everything. You can track your exercise, um, how many servings of water, fruit and vegetables, grains, dairy, protein, um, caffeine, alcohol that you have consumed. So it shows a little red drop when I um, put in that I started my period. It tells me when about um, my period cycle should end and then it also shows you the days that you're most fertile. I started using it before we started trying um, for Knox and I remember Kyle and I had sex one night and then when I woke up in the morning I was like, um, I think last night was my most fertile day. <laughs> we weren't like not trying, but we weren't officially trying to have a baby yet. So boom, we were pregnant. It works for me and it worked with Elle too. I knew that I was ovulating and we tried for Ellie Bell and we got her and we made you in Mexico. Yeah. Are they good? Got more Ellie? You look awfully handsome today. He actually picked out his entire he outfit did. himself. Yep. Oh. Yeah, we bought that for Sissy because you know how you have one and she's always trying to use it? Yeah. Love it, huh? Thank you so much for the flower, bud. Look, I made you dinner. Nuggets and french fries. If you don't want them, I'll leave them. Hot you want some hot sauce? Yeah. Some ketchup? No, hot sauce. Hot sauce. We were just talking about that. Hot, hot sauce? sauce. Wait, did you want what we had the other day? You want the sriracha? Or you want, here, you want to try a couple different kinds? I ate Look, I got you right So you want me to put, a, I'll put a little right here. You can taste test it. Okay, dip a nugget in there and tell me if you like that kind. Huh? Those are beautiful, honey. So this one's kind of like vinegary, spicy. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Yummy! You like it? There's some right here. What of this? You want it in that one or separate? Right uh, here. Right in there? Yeah. All right. Hey, cool. But it's right here? And who's that? I was thinking, is this the one you want right now, Buzz? Look, I was thinking, because Granby's coming to pick you up tomorrow. Oh, good idea. I was thinking you could bring Woody with you. You're gonna save this one for when you go on the car ride with Randy? I don't know. Put it right here. Thanks for thinking of it. <laughs> here, the bag. Buzz to the rescue. <laughs> she looks like she has a beard. <laughs> what the? <coughs> uh, I almost always check it like throughout the day. I didn't you know? save this so Good idea. We'll save that one for when you go with Randy. Alright guys, so for dinner I made this salad, but what I did, I totally cheated. So I took one of the Eat to Evolve grab and go meals, which I'll link down below for you guys. 
I wish I had thought to show you what it looked like, but this is just like an example of what they look like. They're like home cooked meals, they're delicious, and you can like order them for the week. So they send us a box every single week, and we have just been loving them. They're not frozen, so everything is still like really fresh, and yeah, we've really been enjoying them. So they have these grab and goes. So this one had um, chicken with carrots and a dip, and some almonds as well. They do really good. Uh, different like nuts. They have like salt and pepper cashews. These ones look like they have some type of I don't know like a Cajun seasoning or something But their nuts are really really good. I chopped up the chicken and carrots and threw it in with some um, Lettuce that I had in the fridge and then this is the dressing that the chicken came with so I'm going to use that And what is this does it? I don't think it says it would have said on the original package. I really wish I had kept that out, but anyway, that is my dinner so Kyle just bathed the kids while I was downstairs um, switching the laundry over so they're in their clean jammies ready for bed. Kyle's actually meeting up with some guy friends in 45 minutes around 7 o'clock so I'll be putting Elle down soon and then um, when Kyle leaves we'll probably try to put Knox down a little bit early but um, he usually goes down around 7, 7.30. We'll see how that goes but I don't know how much longer I'll vlog tonight because I'm actually hoping to, to upload um, this footage and start editing it tonight before I leave tomorrow for a bachelorette party which I'm super excited about but I've never left L for this long so I'm like kind of having anxiety about it. I still need to pack and I mean it's all good. I truly am really excited and it's going to be such a treat. Yeah, I'm going to try to edit and pack and stuff tonight so. In the lava. Oh no, baby, I'll get out of the lava. Come here. You in the lava. I'm in the lava. You in the lava. Oh, we're out of the lava. Phew. Nope. And this is Shannon. Are you okay? Yeah, I was literally just thinking that laugh sound is so grown up. Carson, what are you eating? Did you guys have a chip or something? Oh, that good job, guys. <laughs> I was like, SOS. Good <laughs> night. Say bye bye. Bye bye. I'm going to sleep. Bye bye. Woof. It's now past eight o'clock. Um, so Kyle left like a little bit o over an hour ago. Um, so I like tried to put L down, and she was like not having it tonight. I don't know why. I think we might have missed like her window. Knox is already coming out of his room. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop my head off. <sighs> he just came out and asked for veggie sticks. <laughs> so I gave them to him. What a terrible habit to let him have food in bed. And I'm like, here you go, go. It's fine, just go to sleep. <sighs> I was having a terrible time. I put her down, I was letting her cry like five minutes at a time. And then it started getting like she was crying to the point of like stress like really crying so i'm like okay this is really weird i'm like checking her temp whatever nothing so i was like i think we just missed her sleep window like when we do that she is inconsolable like is that the word unconsolable inconsolable um and it's like terrible trying to get her to fall asleep we did it one night when we were at camp and it was just like 
horrid. Anyway, so I told Knox, because Knox and I were in his room reading books. We were getting cozy in bed. He was literally in bed. We were on book number two, which would have taken us three more minutes, and he would have been done for the night. So I'm like, sweetheart, I'm really sorry. I said, I have to go rock sissy. She's having a really, really hard time. So we go in Elle's room. I take her out of her crib, which we just like never do. Honestly, we usually just rub her back, lay her back down. She'll go right back to sleep, like if she has any, any difficulty. But I picked her up and rocked her and rocked her and rocked her and loved on her. And then she started getting silly. Like she started like reaching up and playing with my mouth and she was trying to pull my hair and like giggling. And I said, I told her no more, it's time for sleep. And and then Knox comes in and he says something and Elodie's sound machine's on blast, like absolute blast. So I turned that thing up so loud. Um, so he said something and I said, okay, honey, because he had kept coming in and saying um, to just let her be and leave her alone. So I thought that's what he said, but I think what he said was he was going to go poop alone, which I just didn't hear. So I was like, okay, honey. And he turned around and like left the room. I thought nothing of it. Then like a couple minutes later, he comes back in, he's butt naked. And he said, I pooped on the potty, mama. I pooped on the potty. And I was like, that awesome sweetheart and then he turns around to run away because I'm thinking like obviously he didn't wipe and stuff it was all down the back of his legs all over his little bummy literally maybe this much poop made it in the toilet there was a huge spot of poo on the bathroom floor a little bit on the wall he had taken his clothes off so that was smeared down the hallway Meanwhile, Sissy's still screaming, and I just put her back in her crib. I'm like, oh my god, okay, so I'm like, first things first, he can't have poop on him, so I've got to put him in the tub, so let's do that. So I get the tub running, and I clean him all off, get him all soaked up, scrub the crap out of my hands, get the poop <laughs> off, and then I like go in to make sure Sissy's okay. I get her settled. Thank goodness she actually fell asleep. <laughs> I just threw his stuff in the laundry. I had to like hand soak it and scrub it a little bit before I threw it in the wash, but everything's in the wash now. I scrubbed the floors with some Lysol. But anywho, I'm going to end this vlog here. I need to pack, I need to pack for Knox. Um, I still need to edit my video. I need to send another video in for approval and I leave tomorrow at one. And I have both kids tomorrow. <laughs> so there's only so much time in a day. I want to thank Ana Luisa again for sponsoring a portion of today's video. That is absolutely it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.